All right, and this one we've got example 3.2. And so we're gonna draw our circuit up here. We got a positive, we got a negative, we've got an elbow, we've got a resistor, resistor, we've got a resistor, we've got a resistor, we've got an independent current source. Okay, and let's get values here. Um, let me see, example three, two. Um, it's saying 5.3 over here. We've got four, we've got three, we've got six, we've got 12, we've got I X equals to I, and where is I? This is I. Okay, so anything else we need for this one? Don't think so. So let's follow our, our what is that, six step plan for this one? We got one, make, make ref volt. All right, we're gonna make our reference node. Our reference node is, boom, one's done. Two, label node voltages. Label node voltages. So what do we got here for node voltage? We've got boom, we've got boom, and we've got boom. And remember, we don't do one here because this is going to be the same current going through here. It's like the last problem, so we don't have to do that. Um, let's just label these V0, V1, V2. Boom, done. Three. What do we got next? We're gonna draw the currents coming out of the nodes and label. Draw currents out of nodes and label. All right, so we've got currents coming out of the nodes, coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. And now we need to label these. We can give them any value whatsoever. We're just gonna go one. I2, I3, I4, I5, I6. I'm gonna color code that so we can kind of see where we're going because it's getting sloppy now. Three, I6, I5, I4, I3, I2, I1. Nice, okay. Next step, what are we gonna do? Four. Solve easy nodes. Do we have any easy nodes? Yes, we do. V0. V0 equals 5.3. Boom. Done. Got that one out of the way. Now, what are we going to do? 5. Solve remaining nodes with KCL. All right, so let's start at our remaining nodes. What do we got here for this first one? We're gonna have our I equals, so we have our node one, V1. Uh, I'm gonna do KCL at node V1, just to remember where we're at right here. And so we've got V1, we've got I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals zero. And that looks good to me because all of these are coming out, because that's how we drew them according to rule number three. And now if we have that, we're gonna look at I1, it's gonna be V1 minus V0, V1 minus V0 divided by, um, what is this, uh, what's the resistor between four? The plus I2 is gonna be V1 minus zero, V1 divided by, and this is going to be three, plus, We've got this last one, I3. So we've got um, V1 minus V2, V1 minus V2, divided by the six ohm resistor in between there, equals zero. So if we multiply this by, what is the least common factor? 12, I think. Multiply by 12, it looks like it. That's two and two, that's three, that's three and two, so 12, yeah. So if we do that, we're going to get Oh man, 
12 divided by 4 equals 3, 3v1 minus 3v0 plus 12 divided by 3 equals 4v1 plus 12 divided by 6 equals 2v1 minus 2v2 equals 0. Now you're going to simplify that out to, what is that, 9v1 minus 2v2 equals 15.9. Um, good, 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 good. That looks good to me. Good to me. Good to me. Because 5.3 times 3, 9. Yep, we're good. Okay. That looks, makes a lot of sense to me. That's, uh, whoop, drop my pencil or pen. Oh, I'm tired. All right. Let's box this one up. There we go. We're saving that equation. Let's go for the next one. KCL at node v2. All right, we're going to move to our next node here. Next node is right up here. And our v2 is going to be i4 plus i5 plus i6 equals 0. Cool, 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 cool. And now let's start doing the analysis. So i4 is going to be v2 minus v1, v2 minus v1 over 6. And then we're going to do our next one. And this is going to be i5. So this is v2 minus 0 over 12. So v2 over 12 plus our last one is going to be i6. i6 equals 2i. Ah, so this is a fun one. So this is where we get something new. So what are we going to do for this one? How are we going to solve this one? i6 equals ix, ix equals 2i. Let's put in ix for right now, okay? Equals zero, because that is the current. Remember, this is current, Ohm's law. This is current, so this is current too. So if we solve through this and we do 12 as our least common factor, so 12 to make it regular, so this is going to be 12. So that's going to be what? 12 over 6, so 2v2 minus 2v1 plus v2 plus, what is this, 12ix, um, 12ix, 12 and now we're going to look also, so ix is actually going in the negative direction compared up to here, so i6 is going this, i12 is going this, so we're going to actually have a negative ix here, and we're going to have a negative ix here, which we can actually push to the other side of the equal sign then to make it positive again. Okay, so also ix we can solve out for as well. So let's just box this solution up. Let's clean it up. So right now we're going to get, um, now let's solve for ix. Let's solve for ix. So we're going to have ix equals, what is ix going to equal? ix equals i. And i equals what? v2 minus v1 minus v2 over 6, because that's what we drew over here. That's in the same direction. So what we're going to do is ix equals 2, because remember we had the 2i here, so 2. And then what is our i equal? Our i equals v1 minus v2 over 6. v1 minus v2 over 6. Let's just get that out of the way. Cool. I like that. I like that, I like that. So now we're gonna plug this into here. All of this goes up into here. Let's rewrite it out again. Mm, can I make room down here? Oh, I forgot to write this out again. It's hard to keep pushing this up, I keep forgetting. All right, let's just walk through this again. Um, 2v2 minus 2v1 plus uh, v2 equals 12ix, and remember, ix equals 2 times the current i. Current i, we're going to graph them up here, the same thing that we did. i is going to equal to i3. Remember, these are the same things. So that's how we're going to solve for that part. And now let's just come right over here to finish this one. We're going to get 2v2 minus 2v1 plus v2 equals 12 times v1 minus v2 over three and let us simplify it out a little more how are we going to do with that we got 2v1 
3v1, 12, so 4v2, 12, so that's going to be 7v2s, I think. 7v2, and then how many v1s? We got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 6v1, and do we have any numbers in here? No, equals 0. So now we're going to make our little uh, matrix equation. So v1, v2, and number. Make our matrix, make our matrix, make our matrix, make our matrix equals, and remember we're going to have that matrix coming out of it. So we're going to grab our first equation, which is right over here. Um, 9, 9, minus 2, 2, and that's going to equal 15.9. Cool. And then we've got, uh, for this one, we've got minus 6, we've got 7, and we've got 0. And for this one that's coming out, we're going to get 1.87 uh, and 2.18. And this is going to equal to V2. This is equal to, actually, wait. Solve this one. Let me see. Yeah, so that's right. I'm good. Uh, 2.18 equals V1 and uh, 1.87 equals V2. We're good. Remember, we do this. A minus 1 B equals answer which is that up there. That's how we grab it out. Okay, I think that one's pretty good for now.